Thank you. Um, I will explain or tell about some time studies that we did about the mechanized printing in 2021. Uh, so basically, as Agni mentioned before, the forest uh, mechanized printing was starting in Latvia in the 1980s uh, when there were the first machines. Then there was some period of no mechanized printing and it started the next phase in 2007, 2008 and 2017 where Remplanter and Bracke planting heads were tested. And basically the problem and the conclusions after these tests were that uh, the growth of trees uh, was good, the planting quality was good, uh, just the problem was the high price of a mechanized planting because in that time uh, just to do the mounting and um, uh, manual planting was two times cheaper than it was doing the mechanized planting. So the problem was not the quality issues, but the problem was just the price. And uh, it changed uh, rapidly during uh, these years. So in uh, 2021, the price now are quite similar. In uh, um, When it's just a mechanized planting, uh, then it's uh, about 580 euros when we combine the mounting and the manual planting, then it's 565 euros. So the price is quite uh, the same. So the, the price is not the issue anymore. We're not to introduce more mechanized planting. And in 2021, Latvian State Forest, which is the biggest uh, forest around owner in Latvia, they planted 900 hectares of um, by uh, mechanized planting and eight units were working there. And uh, prognosis for the next year for 2022 I think uh, they would plant 1300 hectares so it's uh, the mechanized planting uh, is rising of course today the mechanized planting in Latvia offers numerous benefits it's uh, higher planting speed efficiencies cost effectiveness accuracy uh, but mostly it addresses the uh, biggest issue what is the labor shortage in rural areas so that's hard to find people who are willing to do the manual planting. So the mechanized planting is a way how to do the planting in the future even more because there are so many people who will do the manual job. And when the mechanized planting started, then uh, we asked the operators of the machines what they think are the problems, what, what could be the problems of the mechanized planting. And they mentioned several things that they think it would be a problem. Uh, they said the vegetation is a problem if there's too much leaves uh, it would be slow. Also, the tree undergrowth will be a problem if they are too thick or they are too, uh, the high is too big, then it's hard to move there. Also, they thought that the ferrung residues in the area, if there would be too much thrashes, uh, the work would be uh, very slow. And also, they thought that if the water levels would be too high, then it also would be a problem. Um, so this study aims to identify these factors and see if it really these factors influence the planting productivity and how much it influence uh, how much it in uh, how much is the difference between different these uh, site conditions. So what we do we do the video recording we put a camera on a tractor windshield and we record that uh, the working and we do time studies for two hours in the morning and two hours in the evening because some operators are faster, more energetic working in the in the morning and then the planting speed declines in the evening. For some, it could be different. Maybe they are to sleep in the morning and then they get very energized uh, in the end of the working day and they work faster. And the second, it also changes during the, um, in the morning, uh, the shading of uh, from the around trees, the planting area or shading in the vegetation is different. And in the afternoon when the sun is uh, lower, then there are shades and also it's uh, in some places it's harder to see uh, beneath the ground. And we do two testings. One was in the mid-growing season from August, September, wh which were the conditions when there are many, uh, many deciduous plants and trees and it's difficult to see. Uh, under the planting machine and the second was in October, December when the vegetation is gone and it's very easy to see that the ground uh, where you should plant. And in total 60 sites have been studied in this uh, study case and we did in uh, to 2021, 2022 uh, growing uh, seasons.
So we used, uh, in these 50 sites, three different planting devices were used. It was Amponte, Rizotec, and Brake. And the first question is, is, was there any big difference between the planting heads? So in our 60 sites, we couldn't find a big difference. There was a small difference between uh, the Rizotec and Brake, but in general, uh, these all three planting heads were working um, quite the same. And uh, time studies were done by five uh, different companies. So one company had Rizotec, two companies had uh, Brake heads, and two companies had Emplanter head. So in total, five companies were working with uh, two uh, planting uh, heads. So the first aspect was the vegetation. Uh, we evaluated every, uh, evaluated every site. Was there a raw ve ve vegetation, middle or average vegetation, and heavy vegetation? The re results uh, showed on, on every vegetation level, all three planting heads were working in uh, some time. And also on every vegetation level, at least five at least three uh, companies from five companies were working. And the results showed that there is a big, uh, that there is a significant difference between one um, seedling planting speed, uh, regardless of the vegetation. So in all vegetation, it was uh, much more faster than it was when there's heavy vegetation. And the second was the tree undergrowth. And again, all three planting heads worked on every level of the tree undergrowth when the tree undergrowth was uh, uh, small in the um, average, let's say, and high when there are a lot of uh, deciduous trees in the planting area. And again, there was a significant difference in the planting speeds regardless of the uh, vegetation. About the felling residues, we, in our case, we didn't find any big difference in the planting speed uh, because of the felling residues. So even there are, uh, even the rooks that there are a lot of flashes in the area for the planting, it didn't affect so much the planting speed. They just move in the middle of the skidding road and then ju they just plant or move away the flashes and didn it didn't take so uh, much time for them. And the moisture level, we didn't have many sites where there was a high water level, so we can compare very precise how much affects the water um, in the area. But what we saw from that few sites, uh, in our case, there wasn't such a big difference. But again, we didn't have so many sites with a very high water level. One reason why, because if there's a, somebody from the company comes to see which site they will plant next, if they see that there is a lot of water in the area, obviously they won't send the tractor to working there. So they won't work in a very wet conditions because they will choose some other site to plant. And the fifth was the leaf volume. So basically, are there a lot of leaves in general or there are rest leaves? So a lot of leaves would be in the middle of the summer and the rest leaves would be in the spring and in the autumn. And it also affects a lot the planting productivity. So the main conclusions were well, that the two factors that affected, in our case, the planting productivity was uh, vegetation and small tree overgrowth. And the difference between when you work in a small vegetation or out of vegetation could be even two, uh, two times, um, the time, uh, it could, you could work even two times uh, longer uh, time, peri uh, time period. And uh, analysis, and that influence of that was in for every planting head and for every company. And we didn't find any evidence that the moisture level or the Thermal residues affected uh, tree planting, and also the planting in period with no leaves uh, could uh, be as uh, half produ productive as it was with a lot of leaves. So in general, what could this information could be used in uh, practical uh, planning, and if it's possible that if there are sites where there are you know that there will be a lot of vegetation, for example, the site is you plant the site uh, two to three years after. The clear cut, it's obvious there would be a lot of vegetation. Just plant these sites uh, planting in the spring or in the autumn. And if there are sites uh, like one year after clear cut where there won't be any vegetation, just plant these sites in the middle of the summer in uh, July, August. And so by changing the order of uh, type planting, it's possible to save on the productivity even to 30, 50 percent uh, you could do it more 
in the same period, just changing the order, printing order of the site. Okay, thank you.